Um, if I needed to convert 12 meters into kilometers, I would first need to figure out what the uh, conversion factor is going from kilometers to meters. So I would actually look up what the prefix kilo means. It means a thousand. So 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. That means, since these two things are equal, that I can actually multiply anything by a thousand meters over one kilometer, kilometer, sorry, or I can multiply anything by one kilometer over a thousand meters and not change the value of the actual number or measure that I started with. So, since I start with 12 meters, and I want to multiply it by something to eventually get kilometers at the end. I know that I need to have kilometers on top somewhere in my conversion factor, and I know that I need to get rid of these meters. So I need to be dividing by or have the meters on the bottom of my conversion factor. So it's going to be this one. Does that make sense? Like, I know I need to get rid of this meters, so I'm going to divide by the meters part and I know I want to have kilometers at the end, so that means I have to have the kilometers on top. It's going to be in the numerator. So just copying that conversion factor, I end up having to divide 12 by 1,000. So the decimal point in 12 will move over one, two, three places. So I'll get point zero one two kilometers. So 12 meters is equal to 0.012 kilometers. 